Uh, my wife and I, when we got married, we really hadn't gotten plugged into Johns Creek too much. Um, we knew folks, certainly, and we had friends, and would stick around and talk a little bit sometimes after service, but outside of that, really, the time we were at Johns Creek was on Sundays. And especially in the last three or four years, as I've become more involved, I've seen it grow more. Since I've been here, I've seen the church grow in many ways. I mean, when I first started going here, I remember there was a playground right where this building stands now. And my brother and I and all my friends, we'd run out of the church doors at six years old, just flying to get to the slide and play on the playground. And I mean, we played soccer on the fields right where this building is now. It's exciting for me to see how the rec program's grown because Bill started that, but it actually, the phone calls all came to our house and I would answer phone call after phone call in the beginning and hear just people trying to make a connection in the community. People that had just moved there, they had no family. One of the first things I did when I joined the church was to volunteer to help count the offering. And the job that I had was sorting the cash and opening the envelopes that had cash in them. And I noticed that several of them had tithe on it and many of them were from children and I might find a quarter a dollar or a dollar fifty you know I haven't always been a tither and tithing is something that is very difficult in, in my opinion is very difficult to do you know when we first started it seemed like we were giving a lot of money in reality it really wasn't that much we weren't used to giving so much to the church um, but as we got involved with the church and the programs in the church and we see where the money goes and we see how it's been able to build the church and to bring people in from the community. It helps when you know what you're giving to. It's a different thing to be giving you know, to a ministry that you know nothing about. But for me, if I give at youth or at, to raising the steeple, anything, when it's finished, I know, oh wow, I had a part in that. Like, I was a, you know, part of a larger group of people all giving to this one great cause, whether it's mission work, it's the steeple, it's whatever else there is at the church. It's just good to feel part of a big group in giving. The motivation today is my grandchildren, and I just simply want to set a good example for them. And I want to assure that they have the same opportunities to belong to a Christian community as I've had the opportunity to do. The motivation for giving, uh, I think, is relatively simple. It's love. Um, I feel that, uh, you know, we do everything out of love. Uh, I give gifts for my wife out of love, for my daughter out of love. Um, and I feel that God first loved me in the church. John's Creek first loved me. Um, so out of that love stems love for me, for God, and for the church, and for me wanting to give um, because of that love.